Yes, my viewers and subscribers, what's up, what's up? Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. All right, my peeps, I have two stories in particular that I want to share with you guys. Um, the youngster from St. Lucia, Theo Edward, he was at his brilliant best again today as he scored another century. Yes, my peeps, he led his team to victory in the final. And we're going to talk about that. Going to give you some more information as it relates to that youngster and the tournament. And um, also going to share with you guys a list that I got of Sports Kida, where they were talking about top hitters in cricket. You know, they just had a couple of top hitters where they were putting together the amount of fours and sixes that were hit. Um, that 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 batsman would have hit so far in their career. So we're going we're going to put together, we're going to give you that list. I think it's about five or six players. And you will let me know if there is anybody else that you would like to see on that list. All right. So let us get straight into it. Before we go down another, remember to subscribe, my peeps, if you have not yet subscribed, so you can keep up to date with all of the information that is going out on this platform. All right, my viewers and subscribers. So um, let me go down into the first thing now. So the 15-year-old Theo Edward, a couple days ago, I made a video about this youngster when he made a second century, consecutive century. And quite a few people were saying, you know, it's definitely good to see a youngster doing his thing like that. And they are hoping that in the future, probably three, four years from now, we will see him in and around the West Indies team. So, um, he actually scored his fourth century today. I think four centuries he had in four innings. That, that is pretty good. You know, um, they say the fourth hundred in a row as he led St. Lucia, his team, to victory. Now we're talking about the Windward Island Cricket Board Under-15 Tournament. I would have um, give you guys some information about that already, the Under-15 Tournament there. You know, it's, it's good to see that the youngster is scoring runs. Some might say that, you know, it's not against other regional players, but at the end of the day, you only can play the cricket that is in front of you. When you get to the next level, then you play that cricket. So he was, um, he was challenged by the, the other cricketers in and around the, 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 his space and he was able to outperform them right from the Winward Island so they say it's the Winward Island Cricket Board under 15 tournament and um, they actually defeated you know they defeated his team defeated the St. Vincent and Grenadines by 160 runs you understand so St. Lucia you know they defeated the St. Green, St. Vincent and Grenadines team by 160 runs now um, they actually went undefeated throughout the tournament courtesy of this youngster as i said he would have scored four centuries now edward um he scored 104 of um you know 104 out of the 270 for seven that his team made uh 50 overs in the final he had 15 fours and four sixes and you know we're definitely happy to see the youngster doing that well so he would have amassed over 400 and 40 runs, 440 runs in those four innings. I think the first game he made 198, then he made 102, if I'm not mistaken, then another 100. And, you know, very, very good, my peeps. As I said, you can only play the cricket that is in front of you when he, go, when he, when he has to go up against the others, you know, youngsters from like Jamaica, Trinidad, um, Guyana, and, and, and Barbados and places like these, then you will hope that, you know, he will definitely um, continue to score these sort of runs. And we are going to be looking for this youngster um, at the under 19 level you know quite on, on several occasions would have seen youngsters at 14 15 playing the game like this and then they drop the game by the time the, 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 the under 19 tournament comes around so um, you know we, 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 we're going to keep an eye out for Theo Edward all I can say people that are actually in his circle if you know him if you are in touch with this young man just continue to encourage him don't know if anybody that knows him is actually listening to this video but all I can is just continue to encourage the young man continue to let him know that batting long and batting time is the way to go you know um t20 cricket is attractive it is lucrative but when you master the fundamentals of playing red ball cricket um generally speaking t20 comes a little easier to you so um it's good to see a young man batting that well and finishing off with over 500 runs scoring four consecutive centuries you know so um we're definitely going to continue to keep an eye on him my viewers and subscribers so just go down in the comment section and let me know what you think about um, this young man. Are you looking forward to seeing him in the under-19 team the next time we go out? Um, you know, uh, I, I don't know. The comment section is yours. Just let me know what you all think about that. 
All right, so the final thing that I want to share with you guys, uh, we would have seen where Sports Key that was on their website earlier today, and they were just making a post talking about some um, batsmen. You know, they didn't specify um, any criteria or anything like that. I think, you know, they, they just made reference to batsmen who would have scored the most fours and the most um, sixes, and they have one, two, three. Um, they have four, five, about six of them. So the top six batsmen that would have scored the most. Um, and I think it's combined fours and sixes they are talking about, right? They said top hitters. So it's not only guys that, you know, classy and can stroke the ball around. We're talking about guys that can hit the ball. So at number six, let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. At number six, they have the, the man from India, Mr. Mahendra, uh, Mr. Dhoni, Mahendra Singh Dhoni. In 526 innings, he would have scored 1,486 boundaries, fours. He would have um, struck 1,486 fours. And in um, in the in that same amount of innings, he would have scored uh, 359 sixes, right? Martin Gubtil is at fifth, and he would have played in 402 innings based on what they are calculating here. Would have struck 1,000... 1,385 um, fours and 389 sixes. And I guess it's right across format, I am thinking. Uh, at number at number four, they have Brandon um, Brendan McCallum, right? And uh, he would, in 474 innings, 1,552 fours, 398 sixes. Shaidi Afridi, who was, um, you can call him one of the pioneers of T20 cricket, 508 innings, 1,000 53 um fours and he has moved over into the 400 where six is concerned 476 sixes at number two shine um did i say shine sha shy afridi he's at number three at number two roy sharma in one to um in 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 uh uh, da, 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 da. yeah, he would have scored uh 1546 fours and 502 sixes, and I think that's in like 546 or so innings. Chris Gale now in 551 innings, he would have scored 2332 fours and um 553 sixes they call him the universe boss mr dark and stormy so roid sharma um with one with uh 1546 fours and uh 502 sixes while chris gale had 2000 fours and 553 sixes so chris gale is definitely you know the, the the boss as they would say of power hitting so i just wanted to point that out to you guys I don't know if you have any other player that you think um, you want to put in there and if you want to run it off to top 10 who are the other players that would make that list if it goes off to top 10 so yeah we're going to leave it right there for now my peeps big up on yourself and stay safe Zane